So I've just finished an amazing week up here in Scotland and I wanted to have this video be a bit different to any of my other content instead of it just being another travel video, another road trip video. I wanted it to have a bit more meat behind it, a bit more of a impact considering what we're going through at the moment with COVID and lockdowns and all this shit. I wanted a video that tells a story of how you don't have to go abroad to have a, an amazing adventure and to go away and kind of clear your head and just get away from all this shit that we're dealing with at the moment. And it's taken me a week to work out what the premise of this video is going to be. But I think I've come up with it and I'd like to show you. to have the right car for it and obviously being an outdoorsy guy I mean it's got to be a Land Rover specifically a Land Rover 110 oh, and did I forget to mention it has a roof tent guys down at Yorkshire Vehicle Hire and Defender Camping hooked me up with their 110 and it's been absolutely brilliant. I mean, being in a Land Rover is fun anyway. You just feel like you could just set off and drive through whatever the world can put in front of you. Whether that's a zombie apocalypse after COVID takes us on or whether you just want to set off and head over the highlands without really being on a road. Whether you want a wild camp or go on a proper campsite, it just is the best. Barbecues, fire pits, whether you want to cook on a stove. I mean, for the first time ever, I've cooked everything. All my dinners, or teas if you're from the north, all on a wood fire. And honestly, I think I had the best burger I've ever had. So we spent three days on Sky. Well, I've not been up here in autumn, and honestly, the colours around at the moment are ridiculous. I've, I've been up here a few times, but I've never seen this many colours before. And I have to say, I'm a winter guy, but I think autumn might be uh, my second favourite. I mean, just look at the colours. I know what you're thinking, but Tom, how do we know where to stay if we're not going on a campsite? Well, I'll tell you. 
there's a little app called Park for Night. Download that. You can set different filters depending on where you want to stay. Um, they have administrators who go and check these locations so you know the real and not just some randomers put them on. But yeah, definitely worth a look if you're wanting to have that proper wild night. So yes, you can go to Ibiza, but I'd recommend coming to Scotland. Yes, maybe you won't get the sunshine, and that, it's not all about that. I think a holiday or a even just a weekend, but coming for a week and just seeing the best of what the UK has. And I mean, we're driving through Glencoe now. To say this is six hours from home, I mean, it could, you could be on a different planet. It's fucking cool. So all, I guess all I'm trying to say in this video is don't knock the UK for things to do. Especially given the current times. Grab your mates, rent a Land Rover, rent a motorhome, or just come in your car with a tent. Get yourselves up to the Highlands and just Come and have a look. Remember, take nothing but photos and leave nothing but footprints.